Diffusal blade on CK? Oh, diffusal blade on CK is legit. Okay. I, because, I, I mean, this. it's it's an illusion oh, based hero, right? Of course it has. So illusion based hero always gonna do well with the diffusal blade. It's gonna. Oh, oh it's the Ace Broodmother! Oh, Snapples! I feel like so, I've seen a hell of a lot of games with him playing this hero. So it looks like mid one is gonna be playing the Necrophos instead. Like you said, Ace on the Broodmother definitely did make a, quite a comeback, showing up in a lot of games, like you said. Let me just take a quick little look-see. So five games is all that it's been played, but I think that those all were in the CIS qualifiers. Um, and Invoker getting bodied. Uh, getting bodied. Yeah. I mean, this is the scary thing about this, is that it's not even, like, the worst it's going to get yet. Like, first blood drawn by mid one. This is... I, I'm lacking the number of words you, that I Wait, need. Mid lane. I think he's going to get away, though. No sentry ward. Oh, I, I actually... I mean, that, that hurts anyway. But, um, let's see. There's a Nightmare on the Bane. He's level 2 against the level 4 mid 1. They have a Brain Sap. He is probably going to die here. This is... Gap gank bottom as well. This is... Because goes down. Top lane. Hexu goes down. Mid 1 is just showing no regard for human life as SFT yeah, he are being pulled apart. He's this got is... 11 stick charges. What are they going to do? <laughs> Illidan is dead. I think uh, mid one uh, is thinking about out, chasing him. Look at this. the best part about this is he's he can do whatever he wants. Look at him. What are you gonna do? Stun me? Uh, wow. Nice try. Maledict. They still have the sixteen wand charges. Going to pop it soon. All right, no, no, he's he's saving a skill point. <laughs> oh this is, my this is God. why people hate Necro. I. Oh. Oh man. All right, um, I'm gonna take another look at the CS. Yeah, he's gonna be able to live through this, I'm pretty sure. Stick charges oh, no, no, to he's follow? Dead, he's dead. Uh, he's maybe. He can turn this back around in a second. Trying to deal the damage, they are gonna kill him off. All right, a big kill right there. SFT getting on the board again. It's... Oh, Nikwa is bottom lane. Oh, gonna God. Go down to the ace brood mother. He just medallion someone and runs at him with spiders what do you even do you, you... i don't think he had gale oh yeah he already used the gale too i think he missed the gale and he's going for radiance he might venomancer's level six and oh uh... all right they need to kill the broodmother the broodmother is worth so much money to them right now if they can kill broodmother all right yep oh, they're, they're body Look, blocking. they have the idea they've got mid one in the area there's the reaper what? site he's mid gone lane. Pexgu, can they kill off the Brute? It's not going to happen. Up here top, they kill off the Witch Doctor too. There was a Miss Gale in there. There were some other things. It's Capture. How behind they are. <laughs> There's a smoke play. They break it immediately. Trying to run, trying oh, to catch. Is this is it. Four versus five. Can they do it? Oh, in trouble. They have the Bane Nightmare. It's coming out as well. Ace is actually going to start to go down. He's going to die. Everybody is starting to make the plays that they need to make. And Chandris is doomed. Can they kill They got the Bane as well. It might end up happening. Oh, turn around, snowball in. They're trying to kill off this enchantress. She's so tanky. The snowball save is going to be able to get her stick charges off and maybe walk away from this one. No, Bot is going to go down as well. Triple kill for Illidan. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of gold. Maybe possibly a way 4, forward. 4,200 <laughs> gold net swing and 14 minutes. Uh, SFT in their base right now, knowing that their lead can only get larger. Oh, but puppy. mid lane, Puppy gets caught out. Again, very far out there. Ace, though, he's going to start turning up the damage. The rest of them are there. Hurricane Pike comes out. That's going to be a kill on to Illidan, most likely. Does he get the armor top off? He's actually going to be able to walk away from that one, but he is not going to be brought down. All right, never mind. There he is. He does get they got the kill. Down. Over here to the north side of the fight, Nikwa's going to end up being ran down by the Broodmother as well. They find that kill. Radiance Burn doing a billion and ten damage, and four are dead. It's likely if they can find enough damage, Impetus Shot comes through, doesn't get the miss uphill, and Nikwa also being ran down by Ace, but they're gonna keep their eyes on the prize, focus the barracks, and take the first lane 21 minutes in. Hey, they managed to get back their uh, 1k per minute. Yeah. And GG gets called. 22 minute game. I mean, I, I would say Seeker coming in the heavy favorites. It was that comboed together with a really, really heavy draft advantage. Um, anything else really to say about this game? 
I think if you're uh, different, the skill level is between these two teams. I think that Team Seeker probably has the high skill level, um, but it's still it's not like as big of a, a, a gap as we saw in that last game. That last game was definitely something else. <laughs> yeah. They're just gonna have to move past it. Just do your thing, man. I'll be able to watch this stuff as they come in. Puppy getting a couple hits off. That's a lot of damage from that first nether blast. And well, he's able to pick up a rune as well. So secret get themselves three runes. And now Yapsor able to find that stun rolling forward. Found himself Illidan. First blood drawn by Fatas. They're going to keep on battling underneath the creep wave. You know, I got to say for myself at least, this feels like it's not necessarily like a sign of disrespect necessarily, but confidence for sure it might thing. go down they do have another nether blast here which they're going to throw out in just a second they don't decide to do it roll uh, yeah so a little bit off the mark missing that one does have the damage and is quite gonna get there ill and it's gonna fall oh, that, it up. that was a mango use too yeah it's... so if you count that in that's another hundred gold <laughs> all right double salve and they're back up to full with just a, a great start already in this bottom lane, but it's not as bad as it was. Yeah, AC is pretty much unkillable. He has his drums now as well. He's going to be moving uh, very quickly. Uh, uh, he sleeps in. himself. Now takes the tornado jump in. Oh, Big magnetize onto four. Can he get a second round of it going? He ends up dropping it again. Only reapplies onto two and might be able to get another reapplication onto three again. So eight so far. As Illidan also going to get ran down. Do they have another reflection here? They can use it in just a second if they want, but decide to back out as Fata takes down Thompson. As well as control, so. Oh, mid lane. Going to find Fata. Good decrep right there. Keeping their buddy alive, but Fata is not going to be able to live through all of that. And, well, mid oh, one shows up. All right. Big jump in there. And, oh, the tornado interruption, though. Nikwa is going to end up dying. But that also meant that they didn't get the ulti off onto them from that one, so that's cool. Oh, they guessed wrong. Mid one now in a little bit of trouble. Deafening Blast as well. It's a long duration disarm. With all those points up in Quasin. Well, now also going to be able to try and bring down Illidan. He's got a ton of heals that's coming in, but will eventually fall. So final tally ends up being two for three. With Team Secret coming out on the top. Power is starting to take a bit of damage. Illidan's going to be run back. <laughs> Oh, mid one goes in, BKB pop, just gonna destroy that Rubik, gone in an instant, and also turning his attention now off to the side, mid one, does still have Sunder, turns oh, it nice around thunder. onto Nikwa, he's gonna end up falling as well. They're all taking a ton of damage, but they do manage to actually get that Shrine off, so they're gonna live for the moment. Still a lot of damage there, Sunstrike off the mark, they do still kill off Fata. Nico with a double so far, can they roll away from here and stay alive? No pipe as of yet. Mid one not wanting to die here. They do have a TP boost. Thompson manning up against mid one. Is he going to die? They do find that kill, but so too will die the invoker. Ace. They want to go for more. Himself out of there. He has stick charges still. And what has a blink? Oh, he cancels the regen as well. Is he going to catch him? He does have a roll away up to the high ground. There's the shrine. Might need to pop it there to help out his team. And Ace walks inside the Roche pit to see his quarry has ran away and on. Bane, heading east, stopping for the moment, does still have a Force Staff, and they are going to find him. Force Staff to the high ground, pops the Shrine, rest of his yeah, teammates showing up. That is going to be the jump forward. They find the kill, but simultaneously it's a Magnetize onto two, Silence onto three. Can they kill him off? Reapplication of Magnetize. This time connects onto three of them. Sunstrike's going to be there, but a little bit off the mark. Nikwa dropping as well. They found themselves the Rubik. He has nowhere left to go. The smoke does not end the way that they hoped it would. Three are dead. Middle tower is under and sadly, no chat reaction. wheel was heard that day. Oh. We're going to have to see what SFT's answer is to this. They actually want to go and contest right now. Can they get here? It's not the fastest in the world. They have these illusions that are moving up this way. Thompson. He's got EMP and Tornado together to throw it on out. Next now onto one, but there's going to be the catch. The roll through with the boulder. Can they get him? They have magnetized as well. There's a big old magnetize. And the damage coming as well from Fata. He's out of mana right now, so no more life drains, actually. That EMP Tornado was pretty good, but they but just I have too much too network. Late. Yeah. They even bought back on, on the Venomancer, but he wasn't even able to get there in time. Um, back into the Roche Pit. Three end up going down. Invoker 
I mean, for what? It doesn't even really matter. Nice little wraparound there, dodge from Bexu, but now the Diffusal Blade is there as well. They're gonna take him down. They are diving base. Don't even care about the tier three tower, which hasn't been taken yet. Uh, SCX actually has to take down Yapsor. His mid one turns aside to the bottom racks, but this is looking like, again, a secret victory, unless something really magical happens here from SFT. I don't think we'll be seeing that. There's no buybacks on anyone. And mid one is still in the base, just hammering your towers, and your racks. Still has BKB as well, so there's really no way you're gonna kill him. Force staff from his allies helping him out a little bit there. They catch out Illidan, Diffusal Blade, just inside range. Catches them. Finally, the BKB. They turn now as well on Thompson or the Night Stalker, whoever he wants to. Somebody is dying, that is for damn sure. They have Sunder again. 25 talent, oh, it's gonna him. be back up. Maybe. Oh. Nice four staffs. Yep, and he's got Sunder again in three seconds, so it kind of doesn't even end up mattering. Waiting to get it set up. Oh. Now the Necro <laughs> going to be in trouble. Force back. Sunstrike connects onto Ace to no avail. He is going to die. Just, oh, maybe not. They're getting a little bit greedy there. I don't think those were impetus shots coming out from Ace during that, so. Well, Sunder stolen to heal back up the Invoker. Okay, cute. But now mid one's mid shown one. up. I mean, he's got BKB still, so he doesn't care. Oh, God, the reflection comes through. There's the turnaround. They're going to be able to kill them all off. Nikwa's going to end up falling. He pops the ultimate. It is not oh, going to really matter, though. They turn onto the buildings, and with Mega Creeps, with a 30,000 gold lead, good game is going to be called. And Secret, going to finish this one off 2-0. Well, it was a much better attempt this time. The early game actually wasn't that bad for uh, SFT, but a couple of misplays here and there. I think uh, overall, Secret just coming out ahead. Probably just more experience when it comes to, you know, knowing what to do. Yeah. Because the game was pretty even up until the 30 minute mark. And then from then on, Secret just snowballing out of control off of the back of. I think actually it was. Uh,